Umandisi Diantisi has sharpened his craft with an intensive background in classical music training throughout his schooling years. Now his use of live instrumentation and authentic songwriting make for a heightened musical experience. His keen ear for tone, lyricism and storytelling has made him thus far, has taken him so far as Ireland, Singapore and the USA. So let's take a peek at his official music video for Oso Mandla. So Pelena in a Taku Jena, so Pelena in a so Mata Go see so Mata Zulu. Nasi Kalela Kue Taliwo Kara So Pelina Taku Jena So Pelina Pina So Mara So Pelina What an incredible start to our Friday. Welcome to the Love Mondays. Thank you so much. I'm very happy to be here. So we were having a bit of a moment now when we were watching your music video, where you had a kind of an out of body experience, I can say, as we introing you and you hearing all those things, all those incredible accomplishments that you have kind of championed. How does that feel? It's surreal. Um, I, I never can't quite connect to the stuff that I do. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, it's just, I'm very simple in my art. You know, I come in, work hard at it, I try to be better, and I never think of anything outside it, mm -hmm. you know. Um, to the point where sometimes you don't even think about the audience reaction, you know. Really? So, yeah, yeah, no, 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 I don't. You know, so I'll write a song and I'll work hard at it, or with the band we'll be rehearsing. Um, sort of like we, we are going to perform in, a, in an empty space. That is so interesting, yeah. Mandisi, because yeah. I feel like your music does exactly that. It touches people. I mean, we just heard Uso Manja, yeah. which is such a spiritual experience, yeah. I think. And I think that it's not only a spiritual experience for you creating it, yeah. but for us listening. So it, it actually feels like you it directly had the audience in mind. No, no, you, <laughs> I, have the, I have the issue at hand in mind, okay. you know. Okay. I have the issue at hand in mind. I have, with Somanda, I had the question, you know, so Pelelab, you know, mm. where, where are we gonna end up if things continue to be like this, mm. you know? There's so much societal ills, you know? Every, every time you turn on the news, you turn around, something just, you know, abnormal is happening in our society. And you start to ask yourself, where is this going to end? When is it going to end? You know, for and generations. Yeah, yeah, for generations to come. You know, I don't want to be to where they're going to end up. Exactly. You know, and so for me, that song just asks that question because you don't have the answers. You know, we don't have the answers. You know, sometimes we're just really dumbfounded to a point where you go, okay, we've got a creator. Let's ask the creator. You know. What's your plan? That is, I think that's such a beautiful message to have. A lot of people use music for different forms. Yeah. They use it either for healing, expression. For you, it's tackling those societal um, happenings, yeah. um, whether being abnormal, whether being normal, whether yeah. being strange. And for you, it's kind of to communicate them. Exactly. Um, and it communicates different aspects of life, mm. you know, because we're, we are, there's this narrative that we all need to be the same or, or feel things the same way. Absolutely. I, 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 don't, I don't conform to that. We're different. We've got, um, we, at one minute you're in love, you know, at one minute you're hurt, at one minute you're hungry, at one minute you're worshipping, at one minute you're, very, you're in a club and all mm. those things. So my music really tries and, 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 and deals with those things, you know, mm. um, uh, uh, you know, the, the song is saying, it's saying, saying we still have a long way mm. to go if we continue to treat women and children the way we do. You know, in Zingozam talks about a person who's got their own problems, you know, says, my problems are mine. Wow. You know, they, they, they mind, can I own my problems? Oh, don't, don't. Figure them out. Yeah, yeah, don't come, don't think just because we talk, you know me, you don't mm. know me, you know. There's a, there's a part of me that you will not know 
because I hide some of my scars, you know, I hide some of my uh, you patch black up patches. The bruises. Exactly, you know, so it talks about that. Um, I talk about, um, you know, my, my, my journey about loss and, 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 and how the people I've lost. And Got stuff. Mandy, so you speak about you and people not knowing you, whether it's the metaphorical you or yeah. the literal you yeah. as you are. I mean, have you always been this guy? Have you always used music to kind of speak on the things that weigh heavy on your heart or was there a journey to music um how did mandisi's growing up look like um you know what i'm i'm i'm, I'm fortunate my, my my musical journey is, is filled with um fortune you know oh. i should not be here or i should not be even a musician if you look at where i grew up i grew up in a house with uh, a lot of kids i think there was, was 16 in my house there were a lot of people in my there were 16 individuals yeah, yeah yeah no 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 my household uh, actually, actually the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I stay in, a, I stay in, uh, I grew up in New Brighton, PE, um, 16th Komolo Street. And the, the, the funny thing about it is that there were actually 16 people in the house, you know, so a lot of people. Um, and, and, and just growing up, and, but from a very young age, n not special people, but people in the, in the location, you know, sort of discovered that there was, there was talent in this four-year-old or five-year-old. I don't know how they did that. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying it's full, uh, my life is full of fortune. And so from that, then on, people nourished me, you know, into the ways of music, mm -hmm. whether it was singing in the, in the church choir or it was playing in the church band or it was playing uh, in, the, in, the, in the cultural group in, in, oh. in our township. You, do you understand what I mean? I, I was that guy. I was, I was that person who was, was always kind of sort of involved in music. And it seems like music was the common thread, in Jay, with everything in your life. All the time. Wow. All the time. Um, also in my house, there was a lot of music, you know. Mm. So by the time I discovered that I was, I would be a musician, it was, it was too late because at, 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 at my house, everyone sings, everyone, you know. It was kind of placed and dictated upon yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, it was just <laughs> the thing. You know, you, you took out a hymn book and everyone sang, you started yeah. a song and everyone sang. It, 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 it was one of those houses. Mm. You know, my sister plays, 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 plays the trumpet or the euphonium. Mm. And, and, and so music was there. So be, before I knew it was really um, a special thing was when I got a scholarship, you know, wow. um, to go to a, a sort of music school in PE. I was like, okay. I can take this seriously. Yeah, and, and also I enjoyed it and it came easy. It was something I loved, yeah. you know, and I met other musicians um, in school and our music was taught sort of properly, you know, and, and, and everyone who knows me from that age mm. would tell you that I was going to be a musician. Yeah. You know, it was not like there was no other... Damandisi, and I think your story is just a story that so many South Africans can identify with, yep. where we use music in our households, whether we're celebrating, whether we're mourning, yeah. whether we're coming together, whether we're giving thanks. It's a, it's a way of storytelling. Yeah. And, and you do so, so beautifully, and you formalized your education for learning, yeah. but you decided to take the jazz roots, the classical roots. I mean, why that? Why not contemporary music? When I started, I wanted to be the best musician I could be. That was my, I remember, I remember as a young 13, 14 year old mm -hmm. thinking that I wanted to be the best musician I could be. I wanted, number one, I wanted to speak music. Okay. You know, I wanted yeah. to converse in music because the problem sometimes you with, and, and, and this is my, 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 my take on people studying music or not studying music, you know. Of course, we say, we say, we say, Mm. You know, so you've got the gift. You, a three-year-old can sing and beautiful, you know, so they take that, but they don't study music. Mm. But you get problems where you cannot communicate mm. what you want to do. Mm. So you come into a band setup or a studio setup or a whatever setup, you, you've got music inside you because wow. it's given, but you can't communicate it. Okay. And education helps you with that. It gives you the words mm. to what you're feeling. You can, you're not going to say, it needs to mean, that beat could ah, ah, no, 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 no. You're speaking in symbols. You, do you understand what I mean? And that, and that is the most frustrating thing, you know, but also that is what causes these exploitations and all of Absolutely. these uh, things that are happening in music because people don't know, they don't know when the writing process has begun. Mm. So they don't know if, is, is, can I call this my song? Because I just wrote the words to it. Absolutely. Uh, you know, you know, but when you write in, when, when, in school, they'll teach you how to write a song and you write a song from the first note to the last note. And so therefore, you know that this is your song. Knowing that you've got ownership of this. Exactly. This is your creativity, you know? of exactly. course. And then when it comes to 
making and figuring out the business elements of the music industry <laughs> is now putting it all together. Mm. Oh, Mandy, sit down, DC, you are not going anywhere. We need to find out more from this wealth of knowledge and, of course, your experience with your band yeah. who are going to be joining us later. And, of course, that spectacular performance towards the end of the show. So do not move a muscle if you want more from Umandisi. But after the break, we meet rising superstar Uzameka. Stay right there.